The Diamond DA42 November Golf Systems by Hudson McNellis. The DA42 engines are Austro AE300 E4C engines. This engine is a turbocharged inline four cylinder four stroke overhead valve, dual overhead cam, liquid cooled, and common rail and fuel injected diesel engine with a reduction gear. Jet A fuel is used in place of conventional diesel fuel. The engines are in conventional style as they both turn clockwise. Each engine creates 165 horsepower at 2300 RPM, but is limited to a maximum continuous power of 152 horsepower when both engines are operating. This is not a physical limitation on engine operation, but a restriction placed by the DA42 airplane flight manual. Maximum continuous power is accomplished by setting the power levers to 92%. The airframe is composed of carbon fiber reinforced polymer and glass fiber reinforced plastic. The fuselage is semi monocoque molded construction that is constructed in two halves that are bonded together. Carbon fiber is used to give increased strength and rigidity. The fuselage is attached to a wing center section which contains the two engine nacelles, the wing stubs, which are the points where the wings attach, and the fuselage center section floor. Dangers of this in design include delamination. Delamination is when the glass and carbon fiber composite materials begin to separate. This can be caused by a multitude of factors, but the most common is moisture being Each tank consists of three aluminum chambers that are connected with a flexible hose. This allows the wings to flex without damaging the fuel tanks. There are 26 gallons of fuel stored in each wing, with one gallon of fuel being unusable. There are no auxiliary fuel tanks. There are two tank vents. One includes a check valve with capillary, and one includes a relief valve. That allows fuel and air to flow to the outside with higher internal pressure. The relief pressure valve protects the tank against high pressure in the event that the tank was overfilled in case of fuel transfer failure. The check valve with capillary allows air to enter the tank but prevents flow of fuel to the outside. The capillary equalizes the air pressure during climb. There are two fuel sumps on each side of the airplane, one sump at the main tank and one at the lowest point in each side of the fuel system at the filter. By switching between ECU A and B, the two independent electrically driven fuel pumps are switched over as well. In case of an emergency, both pumps can be activated simultaneously by sw using the fuel switch pump. The common rail fuel injection system is a complex fuel injection system as the drop size, spray pattern, and injection timing are all critical and must be accurate. Simply put, the common rail is a high pressure fuel reservoir which feeds the injectors. Pressure inside the common rail is generated by high pressure fuel pumps which receive fuel from two independent low pressure electric fuel pumps. Depending on the power setting, the rail pressure is controlled by the ECU through the electric valve. Fuel that is not injected passes through a cooler and is fed back to the appropriate wing tank. The DA42 has inboard retracting main gear with both the main brakes on the main gear. They are electrically powered and hydraulically actuated. The retraction process is the solenoids are de-energized and the hydraulic fluid flows out of the gear and the, the springs assist the, the gear with retraction. The extension process is the exact opposite. Emergency extension happens when the gear is stuck in the up position, so you pull the lever and gravity and springs assist the gear become, to become down and locked. The up limit switch allows you to know that the gear is locked and up and it gives you a green indication. The down limit switch does the exact same but with down. The difference between the left and right gear is the left main gear squat switch indicates when the weight on the left main gear is relieved and it prevents accidental gear retraction on the ground. The right main gear squat switch indicates when the weight on the left main gear is relieved and it derates the stall heat to 50% and starts the time on the G1000 tack time and it prevents the glow plugs from being activated in the air.
The nose gear on the DA42 has two full pressure switches, an up limit switch, a down limit switch, is electrically powered and hydraulically actuated, has forward retraction, which changes the CG each time you retract or extend the gear. The landing gear extension speed maximum is 188 knots. The landing gear retraction maximum is 152 knots. The DA42 flap system is quite complicated. On the inboard side of the wing, so there are split flaps, which are mainly there to create turbulence. On the outboard is the plane flaps, which are there to create turbulence, but mainly to create lift. They are tongue slotted together so that you do not have uh, adjacent flaps retracting differently, creating differential lift. They're electrically powered by a single motor. 